Hey guys, I'm back with another voiceover video. I know what's wrong with me, but I'm starting with the Origins um, Zero Oil Toner and their Gel Moisturizer and just putting it on my face. Uh, quick video today, but yeah, I have some red spots, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this new um, color corrector that I got from Essence. I think it was like three dollars or so somewhere around there and I'm just applying that to the places where I'm obviously red um, I wanted to do a video like while I was talking more live I guess you could say but there was too much noise in the background so I didn't want to you know distract the people mm. yes here it is and now I'm just going to take the primer I was going to use NYX but I decided to actually use the one from my BoxyCharm this month which is the Becca primer and I'm just gonna put that everywhere um really weird but I noticed as I was pl putting that on um I probably should have put on the primer first and then the color corrector but the color corrector was like peeling off. So I had to wipe everything off and then put the primer back on. And now with my go-to Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette, I'm taking that color in burlap and just putting that on my crease. Um, and then I actually put some tape on. I usually don't ever use tape, but for the heck of it, put it on today. And then I'm going back into that color called Saddle and just darkening it up a little bit. Um, then I'm going to take a denser brush in just a second and pack on the black shade in there. I'm just copying a look from Crystal Clear Makeup is her name on Instagram. Um, just showing you the brushes real quick. I decided to get a more dense brush. But she kind of put black on first on her crease. And then she used like, it looked like an eyeliner. She didn't really describe what she used, but it looks like an eyeliner, um, which you'll see here in a second that I go, I grab some from, of my MAC eyeliner. Sorry about that. And I just put it over the black to see if that'll kind of grab the color more. Now I'm going to take a flat brush and wet the brush. And I'm going to use this pink shade on the first third of my crease from the Aphrodite palette that I got on Hush. And then I'm taking the purple shade in Faso from the Juvia's Place Magic palette and I'm placing that on the um, middle there of my crease. It was a little too purplish blue. I mean the color is beautiful but not really what I was going for. So I kind of just blended that pink in a little to the purple and then I added this purple shade from the ColourPop My Little Pony palette. And just also went on the outer crease with the green color Yara from the Juvia's Place palette. Um, then I used my Estee Lauder foundation and my Essence Matte bronzer. Also, I'm watching the 100 and I'm so into it. So excited to see what's happening next, as you can see in the background. And then I kind of sculpted my face a little more with the IT Cosmetics Contour Palette. And I'm just taking the same colors that I used on my crease and putting that on my lower lash line. And taking these Cara Lashes in 505 that I got from shopmissay.com for $1 and my telescopic L'Oreal mascara. Probably one of my most favorite mascaras. And of course, just going over those lashes a little. And I tried on like three different lipsticks. I didn't really like any of them. But here I switched to the NYX uh, Lip, Lip Soft Cream in Rome. And then I actually switched over to Live Glam's Kiss Me Lip Subscriptions. Um, I used their lipstick in Kiss a Latte. Um, here as I switch. Here you go. Here it is. Kiss a Latte. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I appreciate 
your support. It means the world. I hope you guys like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.